Okay, so this past week we got um, through the second episode of Day 419. And we can see a lot of things that are starting to happen there. Um, now, beyond just hearing about what Jenna was doing in her, uh, in her office, in her workshop, um, we start to see how that interacts and how Nash Fitch makes his money. Um, and we start to get an understanding of who he might be. One of the things that's interesting that we didn't get a chance to go as in-depth as I kind of wanted to in Day 419 is some of his backstory. And uh, that's one thing that I really do like. Uh, when you finish the film, you'll get a chance to see the epilogue. Um, the epilogue is a story. It, is, uh, it isn't film, but it is a storied continuation of the film. So you get to see some more stuff about Nash, where Nash is from, and things like that, um, and different elements therein. You also get a chance, for those who uh, are going through, you get a chance to see more about the backstory of who he is through um, the uh, Day 419 novella. And uh, you get a feel for the fact that, you know, before the fall, he was a moonshiner, and he was someone who... He was a hustler from Appalachia. He was getting stuff together. and But he was the sort of person who had that true street smarts that when an opening presented itself in the fall, he was able to capitalize on it and do it well. Um, but again, not without making enemies and not without a, uh, a lot of information that is rumored about him. Um, that's why one thing we would like to do is we're gonna, we want to have a version of Day 419 called the Pirate Radio Edition, and that's going to be in the super exclusive collector's edition. But the Pirate Radio Edition will actually showcase the film as Jenna and other people are listening to the pirate radio stations that are nearby. Um, and so that's, that's one of the things that you can kind of get a feel for. It's been said that you don't know about a man until you hear his critics. And so we start to get a greater feel for Jenna's trepidation in all of this. You know, it starts with her being very uneasy as she's talking to Andre, and he not having a lot of reassurance. Um, and you really do get a feeling, a, a mafia-style feeling with these folks, that this is the way they do things, and if you cease to be useful, your survival rate is not great. And so now we start to get into the question of Jenna's death wish. I mean, we talked about it some in uh, the first episode, but the second episode, you're starting to see more of that. And uh, oh, where does that come from? Why does she hate herself so much? Why does she feel like, as one of our taglines has said, that some people were not supposed to survive the end of the world? Why does she believe she's one of those people? So... And that's more to come and more exploration throughout it. And uh, I look forward to your thoughts. Um, I will tell you as well, we just got done doing some more stuff on the, uh, the depleted DVD. And folks who end up getting that besides getting, the, uh, um, besides getting a PDF of the Day 419 novella, they're also going to get a PDF of the shooting script. Um, that we shot Day 419 with, which we think this is going to be pretty cool for them to get to kind of see what things changed. Um, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff actually did really change from the shooting script to the finalized elements. So we're looking forward to showcasing that. And uh, we're also going to, I'll tell you, there is an Easter egg in the DVD itself that gives you a little bit more information. So if you explore stuff, you're going to get some pretty neat things there. So we like to reward our fans um, with stuff about the world and the universe. So more as we know it.